Welcome to Wonderland Sweden. My name's Rebecca and I create educational tools with the help of my Xtool P2 and Creative Space. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's begin. So I've been editing these sign language symbols and letters and I was really clever and thought, okay, I'll change the settings in here. Ignore that cane label. I'll change that to a different color. No, an orange, uh, green. Anyway, so I thought I was being really clever and putting the settings in here. So I wanted to do the yellow a little bit lighter. So I turned the power down from 15 to 10 and upped the power of the orange to 20, 200 lines per centimeter and upped the black as well, the engraved up to 30. And my advice was that you could copy it. So you can do control A for con to copy it all, to highlight it all and copy. So control and C to copy and to make a new canvas by pressing plus and then pressing V. And then I was looking to change the letters. So what I did is that on canvas two, I made it all the right size and I changed the font as well to the font I want. And then I was looking at the settings and saw that they were back to the original. So the actual settings didn't follow with the design. I don't know why I thought they did, but apparently don't, they don't, which is a real pain. Uh, so you would have to do like a save settings here and to save it all. So what I did was moved on to here and then I had to change it individually again. So as you can see, it's gone back to a non-defined material. So you would have to go back to the pine plywood and confirm. So maybe we can have a little play about and see if we can change the, make these settings a standard. So that's a sand, standard setting. So you can't actually save that because that's just 15. So maybe if we do, we want that quite hard actually. So we do that to 22 lines per inch, 220, a little bit random settings, but we'll save them anyway. So if we save them settings, so we do so green text. So we'll save that. And then we wanted the orange. And these ones are actually still saved because it's the original do not touch canvas. So we do save settings. So it's really good if you name them properly because you might want to use them again in the future orange engrave and then we had yellow so we save those ones so yellow light i know you don't need to call them what they are what color they are but i just know from visually like connecting the yellow with the the sleeve as being the bit that i want light so yellow light engrave i can put we save that and then we have the last one here as you can see here black and it saved really strong power so black score for the hand so I know for the future so what we can do is we can go into a number two canvas so we changed it already to pine plywood so when you change it to pine plywood then all the engraved settings will become the same so we'll go back to 15, 350, 100, one pass. And the same with the yellow. And the same with, there is no more engraved, is there? And the, the red will go to back to 100. Oh, red was, I didn't even change it, did I? Cut. So I could even change my cut because I never do 100. So I could do 80, 15, I normally do. So we can do red, cut, fine. So I can always save that as my standard. So what we do is we click on the green. Okay, what settings did we want? So we can click here on reference. And it's quite easy in this example because we know it's the green text. So we just press on green text. Then we click down here, red, we've already done. 
yellow. So instead of it being the reference, we want the yellow light engraving. So we can double check that it's just the yellow highlighted, which is the black, black score and the orange, orange engrave. So there you go. So then, as you can see, if we can just do it again, as an example, to show you what would the problem was. So if we make a new canvas, you can see. It's already gone back to the to the default settings and everything will go back to 15. So then you can just do the same as what we did on canvas to change that to green. So if you're going to repeat the same product again and again, so you can have basically maybe a name for each color and in the same way that cut is always red, you can always have the text in green, you can always have the light engraved in yellow and so on. So then you can just literally just click on this instead of having to go, oh no, what were my settings again? I do actually have a huge acrylic board where I actually write down the settings manually, but now I know kind of what settings uh, that I want in my head because I'm mostly working with, with my plywood. It's not pine plywood, it's actually birch, but um, yeah. So that's a few tips to think about when choosing your settings.